Hey, babe, now tell me, is it going to be you and me forever? Oh, oh, oh. Or am I caught in a hit and run? What's up, What's everybody? up, everybody? Everybody. Hey, babe. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. tipsy. Do you know my friend used to think that, that they were saying, I swear to God, you go, everybody in the club's getting tips. <laughs> That's what, which yeah. is a really a better song, really. Do you know like that song by Bobby Brown? Everybody's humping. I heard it. I heard it yesterday. Yeah, my mom. I heard it yesterday. I remember we used to. My mom used to blast that song <laughs> when I was a kid because she thought he was saying everybody's pumping the jams, and so she, what? Yeah, that doesn't it doesn't even sound like. I know that. she go and she go every and then one time we we're blasting in the car and my aunt goes, Lynn, you know they're saying everybody's humping around, right? <laughs> and then and then she was like, No, they're saying everybody's pumping the jams, and she was like, No, they're saying everybody's humping around, and she was like, Turn that off, <laughs> and I was like, I love that song. We should do the whole episode and never acknowledge that Joe DeRose is here. <laughs> 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 yeah, How funny would that be? <laughs> that would have been we, we blew it. Yeah. Should have been the bit. You, yeah, you, you, you didn't join in on the song. I didn't know I was supposed to. Uh, what are you doing? I, I thought I thought you guys did the song, and then as the guest, you introduced me. I thought when I co-host, I had to do the song. Oh, okay. No, there's rules. Uh, there's layers. Yeah, I didn't know. No matter what happens, we love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the like our guests don't do the chance with oh, okay, us. Okay, you know, that's, that's how I thought yeah, of it yeah. was. But good um, to be here. Uh, you know, you know when you're little and and uh, like the kids in the neighborhood are talking about and it, oh, do you know what this means? Do you know what that means? Yeah. Like like you know like I remember in uh, I think I told this story before. I remember in fourth grade, uh, this girl told the kid in our class she got pissed off at him and she's like, "You better stop or I will give you a blowjob." Right. Did wow. you? Did I ever tell you that? No, 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 no. And, but I and, know. And then, you, like the, the teacher was, her name was Miss Cudahy. She was like a little, little. Shout out, Miss Cudahy. She, she's, she was. I'm not joking. She was four foot six. She wore like a moo. Is that little person? No, nah, she was a, like a little, like a little butterball of a lady. What did, but I mean, what, 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 what counts as little person? Pimp's gonna pull know. that up. What, uh, let everyone take a guess. She was under five feet. My count. My guess is you are, you are, you are a diagnosed little person. I would say under four feet. What's your guess? I think it's four one is the cutoff. What do you got? <sighs> yeah, I'd say. Under four six. What's the answer, pimp? Four ten or less. Four Whoa. ten or less. She might have been a little. Wow. Lady. So Danny DeVito just makes the cut because he's like four eleven, I think. That's what they say. There's in his no Hollywood way bio. Danny DeVito is four eleven. There's no way. He's, he's probably like five two. Buddy, five, three. I've met him. He's tiny. He's not four eleven, Joe. He's not three eleven. Four eleven is <laughs> four ten. Danny <laughs> DeVito is four ten. He's a dwarf. He's no. not. No, he's not. He's not a literal dwarf. Four ten and under is dwarf. That's what it. Really? Said. Yeah. Yeah, but he's not. He doesn't. I, but is he considered that though? Four ten and under is dwarf. Uh, no, I don't think it, four ten under is dwarfism per se. I think it's that's just. That's what it says on online here. Well, then it must be true. That's four ten or under. So and she, you can't say midget anymore either. She said. <laughs> no. But I feel anymore. like a little. It's but, been like ten years. Really? <laughs> not in Staten Island. <laughs> it's been. Like, in fact, it's been like it's. They did a Seinfeld about how it you could say that. It was never okay. It's like. It's like but, but, don't you think little person sounds worse? Yeah, Attell had that great joke about oh, it. Oh, did he? He was like, he's like, he's like, there's a lot of arguing. He's like, some people, he's like, you're not supposed to say midget. He's like, some people say you're supposed to say dwarf. Other people say you're supposed to say little person. You know what they actually want to be called? People. <laughs> 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 yeah, really. <laughs> so she says, I'll give you a blowjob. And then uh, the teacher was appalled. And then sure. some of the kids in the class maybe knew what it was, but some acted like they knew it was bad, but no one really knew. Yeah. And then she and then she, and I was like, oh, my God, I kind of knew it was bad. Right. But she goes she literally said to this day, I, I can't believe it. But she goes, uh, she got flush and she goes, uh, don't say that. And she goes, why? She goes, I'll, I'll, I'll give my blowjob right now. It was fourth grade. She didn't know. She so didn't. she said, can you go outside? She told me, can you step outside the classroom and tell her that that's not a, like tell she I now that I'm thinking about, I'm blowing my own mind. She said, tell her what that is. What did she think it was? A wedgie. Interesting. Yeah. How do you get a blowjob from a, into a wedgie? Who the hell knows? Blowing the, the fourth, wind, the wind blowing your shorts into your grade. ass. And she said, I know what it's like. It's like a wedgie. And then I was like, it's not that, but I didn't really know what it meant. But I can't believe this woman That's told wild. me to tell her what it is. That's but my wild. point was, you know, when you're little and you don't know, and people are like, you, you ever heard of this? You know what this is? I remember when we were little... Uh, in the neighborhood, one kid was like, oh, you know, hump. You know what a hump to hump somebody is? And humping, I guess, is just around. Humping around. Yeah. But the kid was like, it's when you do it in the, in the butt, humping. 
They call uh, it humping when it's in the butt. And I was like, we all, everyone believed that, but I don't think that's the I case. Didn't know, I didn't know until I was steadfastly approaching 40 that knocking the boots meant like, meant like the, her, her boots knocked together. Yeah. I thought it meant like the booty, like I'm knocking the booty. Like no, I I'm, thought it was like you're knocking boots, like your boots and her boots are hitting together. Well, yes, but I didn't know it literally meant boots. I thought it meant like booty. Right. Like I'm banging the booty and the I'm knocking the booty. Well, that's oh, like fun. you thought boots was a shortened version of booty. Yeah, like, that's oh, what I thought it meant. That's actually a fun I, name for a butt. It is. Hey, yeah. look, what a nice. Yo, you see yeah. her boots? Uh, I can't believe it's literal boots. Yeah. 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 Knocking boots. <laughs> well, because, because it's an old school term. But boots, you're right. Boots is actually better than booty. It's as fun. Yeah. What girls wear, but who's, who are you having sex with? What woman are you having sex with that still has her boots on? Is another interesting it's thing. It's actually like, it almost sounds like a Swedish way to pr- pronounce butt. But. But. The boot. I got I, it in my boot. Yeah. But I have, a fr- I have a friend who's, I, who I believe is latently. You don't have a friend. Ah, oh, stop it. Don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away.